said to me very carefully. Every blessing as always. Number one. The man of your blessing. Every blessing God has all, always used someone for your blessing. God has always used someone for Don't kill a man of your blessing. We can be born in the same family. But we don't have the same destiny. Am I talking to someone? We can be born in the same family. Same, same country. Same hospital. But everyone has his destiny. And many times. A man of destiny. Can be this discourse for his brothers. David was the man of blessing for his family. Joseph the same was the man of blessing for his family. Every blessing has someone for you. For you to enter that blessing. That's why every time when you pray, pray God to to, 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 to help you to meet the man of your There is someone when you met him. Everything becomes easy. There is someone when you met him. You can say why I suffered all time. Number one, the man of your destiny. Israel was crying. Israel. Israel was crying. Israel was praying. But God was looking for someone who released the blessing of God. There are so many churches. But your blessing is not to all churches. But there is one church. God can use that church to be your blessing. There are so many people. Oh, come from God. But there is someone God has prepared for you. Number two. The time of your blessing. God can speak to you. How we bless you. How we make a great nation. We do this and that for you. 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 That prophecy is for the time. Unabini kwa wakati. Every blessing of God. Baraka yote ya kutoka kwa Mungu. Already proclaimed from heaven for a time. Tayari imeshatangaza kutoka mbinguni ili iweze kutokea. There is a time to see that blessing. Kuna wakati wa kuona hizo baraka. God can tell you you will be a preacher. Mungu anaweza kukwambia unaweza kuwa to enter that blessing. Not every way can bring you to your to your blessing. If others use another way, left way. Maybe you God can use the right way. There is a way to enter your blessing. Number three. Kuna nshia ya kuingia kwenye baraka zako. Number one. Number moja. Discover the man of your blessing. 
Tambua mtu wa baraka zako. Even in the marriage. Hata kwenye ndoa. Discover who is the man of your blessing. Tambua yupi ni mtu wa baraka zako. He can look as a poor man today. Anaweza kaonekana ni masikini leo. But he is a man of your blessing. Lakini ni mwanaume wa baraka yako. Because if our future is hidden even to our own eyes. Kwa sababu ficha yetu imefichwa hata kwenye macho yetu. Zaya wakati wako ukifika you will do less effort utatumia nguvu kidogo but the result will be very big lakini matokeo yatakuwa makubwa mno the preachers you can see today watumishi wote wa Mungu nao waona siku ya leo they don't start today hao kwanza leo even mwamposa hata mwamposa all those people what what but when there is time wakati ukifika you cannot force again huwezi ukalazimisha tena because it's your time kwa sababu ni wakati wako you reach your time utakapofikia huo wakati wako there is a grace upon that time kuna neema kwenye wakati huo to make everything to be easy kufanya kila kitu kiwe chepesi kwa rahisi today i'm talking about number 4 lakini leo naongelea kuhusu hiyo namba 4 the place of your blessing mahali pa baraka zako we let to get a with you to me soma pamoja nao god say mungu akasema i will take you back nitakuchukua nitakurudisha to your place to your tent kwenye mahali pako kwenye nchi yako listen to me nisikilize you can suffer all your your life unaweza ukahangaika maisha yako yote because just you are in the wrong place kwa sababu uko mahali ambapo sio sahihi sometimes it's not about demons wakati mwingine sio kuhusu mashetani na mapepo sometimes it's not about your grandmother sio wakati mwingine sio kuhusu bibi yako sababu yako you are in the wrong place na labda inawezekana uko mahali ambapo sio sahihi a marriage can be a place kwenye ndoa ikiwa inaweza kuwa mahali pa a ministry church can be a place huduma inaweza kuwa ni mahali pa a country a city can be a place mm -hmm. Eneo inaweza ikawa ni mahali pako. Please tafadhali. If God kama Mungu as no important about place. Angekuwa hana chochote cha muhimu kuhusu mahali, kuhusu eneo. He could not say to Abraham. Asingemwambia Abraham, Ibrahim, leave your country. Ondoka kwenye nchi yako. Leave your nation. Ondoka kwenye taifa lako. Leave your father's house. Ondoka kwenye nyumba ya baba yako. Where you will go? Ambapo utaenda? I will bless you. Nitakubariki. The Bible said the all world is for God. Biblia inasema ulimwengu wote ni wa Mungu. Why God cannot bless Abraham to his own family? Kwa nini Mungu hakumbariki Ibrahim kwenye familia yake? Let me tell you something. Acha nikwambie kitu. They are they are people. Kuna watu. Even you go to Europe. Hata kama utakwenda Ulaya. Your blessing is on there. Baraka zako hazitakuwa haziko huko. Your blessing is here in Tanzania. Baraka zako ziko hapa pale. Yeah, there are people. Kuna watu wengine. If you go to live Tanzania ondoka Tanzania you can see you cannot see your blessing wewe si ukaona baraka zako there are other people na watu wengine in the fire they will be blessed there kwenye vijiji vyao wanaweza wakabarikiwa huko there are other people na kuna watu wengine for them to be blessed kwa wao kubarikiwa they have to leave that fire wanatakiwa ondoka kwenye vile vijiji now what what they there for is to sasa you swing every time sasa shetani anaiba nini what what is swing Shetani anafanya nini? The devil can make you can make a city or a place to be a prison for you. Shetani anaweza kufanya mahali same flani iwe iwe gereza lako. Because the devil knows. Kwa sababu shetani anajua. If you live from that place. Ukiishi kwenye hiyo eneo. To another place. Ukiishi ukiondoka kwenye ile eneo kwenda kwenye eneo lingine. You will see Difference. Utaona utofauti. One day I was praying for a, a, a lady. Siku moja nilikuwa namwambia mwanamke mmoja. That lady was looking for job. Huyu mwanamke alikuwa anatafuta kazi. She was from Tanga. Alikuwa anatokea Tanga. She came to Tabata. Alikuja Tabata. Hii ni Dar es Salaam. Hapa hapa Dar es Salaam. More than years. Zaidi ya miaka. She was not finding job. Hakuweza kupata kazi. He came to me. Alikuja kwangu. I prayed for. Nikamwombea. No job. 
hakuna kazi. I prayed again. Nika muombea tena hakuna kazi. One day I was praying. Siku moja nilipokuwa nikiomba. God told me. Mungu akaniambia. Tell her to leave where he is. Mwambie aondoke pale mahali alipo. To go to another place. Aende mahali pengine. I will give her job. Nitampa kazi. I told her God is saying me to leave where you are living. Nikamwambia Mungu ameniambia kwamba aondoke hapo mahali unapoishi. Go to another place. Nenda mahali pengine. She said it is my sister. Kama nikamwacha dada yangu. She is the one who brought me here to Dar es Salaam. Ni mwenye pale amenileta hapa Dar es Salaam. I told her if you don't like to leave. Nikamwambia kama hutaki kuondoka. We remain the same situation. Utabaki hivyo hivyo na hali yako. If you need change you have to leave. Kama unataka mabadiliko unatakiwa utoke hapo. When six was hard, vitu vikiwa vigumu, she she decided to leave. Alafu akaamua sasa kuondoka. She went to Kiba. Akaenda Kiba. Just when she re- reached Kiba. Mahali pe shuka tu Kiba. The following day siku iliyofuata she got three calls akapata simu tatu akapigia simu tatu the place he, he went for he, he brought the, uh, uh, for the uh, application mali ambapo alipeleka cv zake application zake was quiet vitu vilikuwa kimya kabisa just when she shift lakini mara tu alipoondoka kule mali alipokuwa alaka calls simu tatu and all those places na hizo hizo same za shamba for the interview alikwenda kwenye interview kwenye all the places she passed na kwa siku hizo hizo same za tatu akachaguliwa she was her now to choose where to alikuwa mwenyewe sasa achague aende wapi kazi wapi nisikilize you have to pray a lot unatakiwa uombe mno for god to give you your right place of your place ili mungu akupe mahali pako sahihi kwa ajili ya incense for business hata kwenye biashara even for marriage hata kwenye ndoa if you are you are in the wrong place ukiwa kwenye sehemu ambayo sio sahihi you can pray a lot unaweza ukaomba omba na kuomba even in the ministry hata kwenye huduma if you are in the wrong place ukiwa kwenye sehemu ambayo sio sahihi pray a lot unaweza ukaomba mno hakuna chochote kitakachotokea you can start eating everyone unaweza ukaanza kuchukia kila mtu the problem is not about people shida sio kwamba ni kuhusu watu the problem is you are in the wrong place shida ni kwamba uko kwenye mahali ambapo sio sahihi that's why sometimes sio maana wakati fulani if god loves you more mungu akiwa anakupenda zaidi he can provoke provoke problem anaweza akasababisha matatizo for you to live ili wewe uongee do not come from the enemy shida yoyote sio kwamba inakuja kutoka kwa adui there are some problem god can handle those problem for you to live kuna ma, kuna shida nyingine ambazo Mungu anazihusu ili wewe uondoke Joseph you problem Mungu akatengeneza shida akatengeneza matatizo I want to tell you something to because just so that hour kwa sababu tu ya hiyo nyumba yes god cannot open your eyes wacha kama mungu hajafungua macho yako you cannot understand hoezi kuelewa where is the place of your place sema gani ni sehemu ya baraka zako no sasa israel was suffering to babylon israel ilikuwa anahangaika mnao babylon kulikuwa kuna mahangaiko vitu vilikuwa vigumu mno but one day lakini siku moja Mungu akasema I will tell you from you nitawarudisha mahali pepo maybe you were chased from your land kama ulishafukuzwa kutoka kwenye nchi yako Adam and Eve kama Adam na Eva we were just by from your land of your blessing unaweza ukaulifukuzwa kutoka kwenye nchi yako hapo Your blessing. 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 Your bless